Oh, okay, so it is working. All right. We're up, baby. Excellent. Oh, hey, thank you for the rose, whoever sent that. Memphis? Is this, like, recent? going on everybody happy sunday happy sunday can you hear me let me know if you can hear me if, if the music is too loud or if you're able to hear me Is this Blavatsky? Open up. Why won't this open? There we go. Oh no, this is Percival. Might as well be Blavatsky. the same thing oh no okay this is my fried record okay no worries no worries hey hey what's up everybody happy sunday afternoon hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's doing well can you guys hear me is the music too loud can you hear me let me know let me know if music is too loud or you guys cannot hear. You can hear? Okay, excellent. All right. I just want to make sure the settings from before are still are still good. 
Um, do you have any tips or tricks on how to create a more vivid and clear imagination? Um, I don't because I don't have any issues with that. Um, I know that there are people out there that like don't like don't have an imagination or can't like visualize things or see things in their mind or all that. Um, I've never had to deal with that and I've never met anyone like in real life, at least that I'm aware of, uh, that had to deal with that. So I don't have any because I've never had to encounter that. Um, I've never encountered that. I never had to overcome that. Um, so no, unfortunately, I do not have any tips or tricks on how to create a more vivid and clear imagination. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you're, you're, uh, you sound fine in music too. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. There's a book called The Art of Memory by Francis Yates that's great on imagination. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. There you go. I don't think I have that. Let me see. I don't think I have that. Yeah, no, I don't have that. But there you go. Thank you, Isa. That should be quite helpful. <clears throat> Excellent. I'll have to check it out. And uh, make sure you uh, like the live. Make sure you like you guys like the live. And um, also, we're streaming on Twitch as well. So be sure to check me out on Twitch. Trying to build a community over there as well. So go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Also under the Mystical Rebel. But yes, be sure to like this so we can get this out to the most amount of people. I want to start streaming more from my desktop rather than my phone. But like, I feel like the algorithms are completely different. Like if I was doing this exact same stream, obviously without the stuff on the screen, but um, uh, I originally had this background up. If I was doing this exact same stream from my phone, I don't know. I feel like we'd have like 30 plus people in here. I don't know why for some reason the desktop version doesn't attract or does it like it like it's not on the algorithm or what i mean even when i'm on live feeds and i'm scrolling through i rarely see people on the desktop so i don't know if this is like a different algorithm or what but <clears throat> i would like to start streaming on here more but i i would figure it would be the same algorithm we get the same general numbers of people in both streams but no that's not that's not how it seems, which sucks. Because this is better for showing you guys things, for reading things live, for you know, you know, just going over things. It's 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 much better, I don't know, this way than it is from the phone. The phone, you guys can only just see me. And I can't really share anything, I can't show anything. I gotta put on all these filters and you know, all this stuff to show you a book properly because you can't you can't uh, read it backwards because the phone's inverted so I got to put in the inverted filter and then it's it's ridiculous I agree I like that you can zoom in too yeah I I don't know why the algorithm doesn't I don't know it doesn't seem to like desktop stream which is so crazy so crazy but I don't know what do you guys think should we should we cut the desktop stream and go and go to mobile do you think we should go to mobile for this stream what do you guys think <clears throat> excuse me mm -mm 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 -mm. No, you don't want to go to mobile stream. You like this? There's really nobody in here though. There's three there's three people in here. What's up, hummingbird? What's up? Hope you're doing well, brother. I don't know how I feel about Peter Hamilton Giles. Yo, yo, yo. If you want to go back to mobile, I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it seems, I mean, if there was, if like the audience was coming over here, 
um, then I'd, I'd stay here. I, I prefer this. I would prefer the desktop, but it seems that the audience doesn't prefer the desktop. It seems that, uh, and it seems that the algorithm doesn't prefer desktop. Whenever I'm over here, I don't know. It doesn't, it's like insane. Sometimes the live studio doesn't, or excuse me, sometimes the live studio live doesn't propagate, so it's important to share. Yeah, uh, share, out, uh, share out the live, like the live. I mean, if if we can get more people in here, because I'm, I'd, I'd like to start a discussion, and um, I don't know if we can, because you guys already know occultism, right? You guys already already know about magic, and most of the questions that we get on this channel are beginner questions. Um, so for you guys, it would be, you know, uh, information that you already, already know. So there'd be no discussion to be had. Um, whereas when we're on mobile, you know, 30 plus people come in. Most of those people don't practice magic or they're be, or they're just starting. And so they have a lot of questions. Um, it's algorithms, not necessarily, it's algorithm, not necessarily, well, yeah, 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 that's what I was talking about earlier, uh, before you got in here, like, literally, like, a minute or two before you hopped in, I was talking about how the algorithm doesn't seem to prefer uh, live studio over mobile, um, it seems, or it, there's no balance, right, it seems to put all its eggs in the mobile basket, and uh, really no eggs in the desktop basket, and then even me, I was talking about when I'm not streaming, but when I'm on the live feed and I'm just going through feeds, I rarely ever come across anybody desktop streaming. And usually when I do, they're gaming. And most gamers just do the port, which I can't switch now because I'm already live, but I'd show you the portrait mode that, I, that I've that i done before. But I don't know, I feel like that's still not, like, I, I, I don't think that tricks the algorithm. Um, so I invited people that normally do come, but no one yet. Thanks, thank you, Isa. Appreciate that. Uh, we've got we got five in here right now. All right, I'll, I'll give it a few more minutes, and then we'll just go ahead and swap over to mobile. Uh, we'll we'll cut this stream. We'll swap over to mobile, and maybe we'll get some more people in here, so we can get a bunch of questions. So I can be eighty questions behind. <laughs> Hi, Professor Mystic. What's up, Icy Mage? I have the complete Enochian dictionary. Nice. Awesome. Um, do you plan on using that for anything? Do you plan on, like, writing something in Enochian, like your spells or your Book of Shadows or Grimoire or something like that? Because if you plan on studying Enochian magic, I don't think the dictionary would be much help. That's for words and... Um, spelling and stuff like that uh, i would i would go with other texts um like like enochian magic and theory and practice or um uh what's that um uh damn it what's that frater yakaita book um i can't think of his name at the moment but <clears throat> let me see if i have any uh where's my drive down here let me see. I think I have the Enochian. Yeah, here we go. Enochian folder. All right. Well, that's definitely not all the Enochian text I have. So let's just type it in up here. There we go. Um, yeah. As you can see, I need to uh, way better organize my folders because there was three books in my Enochian folder. And then I type in Enochian and then there's a thousand books. Um, all right. Uh, well, wait a minute. What's this one? Oh, okay. That was that one. Uh, there's no back on this Google Drive? Okay. Um, so then what was that other one? So then what's this one? There's only one in here. Alright, whatever. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, Enochian Pronunciation Guide, Aleister Crowley's... What's this? I don't know what this is. Can you have the title appear when I hover over it, please. Like a regular, there we go. The Enochian, what? The Enochian tablets, Enochian magic reference. So here's the Enochian magic uh, in, in theory. Um, and there's also Enochian magic in practice. Um, so there's this one by Dean Wilson. 
And then there's a Frater Yakaida book. I don't know why I can't think of it. Uh, so there's Enochian magic in theory, and then Enochian magic in practice. Uh, I've, I've not read this. What is this? Donald Tyson's Enochian magic for beginners. I've not read this. Um, Donald Tyson's a bit of hit or miss. So, you know, you can get this if you want. Uh, I've not read this, so I can't speak to its efficacy or its... Um, accurateness but um there are books by him that i like and there's books that i don't you know so uh let's see the rest of this isn't really well this is enochian here um but the rest of this isn't enochian what's what's this stuff yeah why is fritz springmeyer this is c conspiracy stuff why is this here interesting um, not a BB or a pellet. <laughs> they also, uh, they also the chance of the eighteen calls. That's great, uh, but that's not going to get you started with with Enochian. You there's there's a lot. You need the sigillum. You need the tablets of union. You need the the elemental tablets. You know you yeah. By the way, what's your opinion on Alistair Crowley? Not good. Um, and it's it's not really. Uh, yeah. While I echo a lot of the issues that other people in the occult world have, I think my issues with Crowley are very unique because I generally don't like him because of the pedestal that people outside of the occult put him on. Right? People like um, where was he? Where, where was that conspiracy? Right here. People like this guy, Fritz Springmeier, who writes conspiracy. This is not a you know this is not an, even a magical book. This is a conspiracy. Uh, text as soon as it opens. The Google Drive for desktop is weird sometimes. That's why I usually just use the web browser version. Like, open up, bro. Like, what is this? Open. Like, what? Jeez. Uh, the Illuminati formula to use to create an undetectable total mind control slave. Yeah, this is conspiracy stuff. People like him. People like Fritz Springmeier. People like Cisco Wheeler. People like, um... Um, the girl that wrote Thanks for the Memories, you know, all, all, you know, all these conspiracy type people. If you were to go on YouTube and just type in like Illuminati or something like that on TikTok, type in Illuminati. I promise you, you won't be able to find five videos that don't mention Aleister Crowley. Um, or you won't be able to go through five random videos, I should say, that don't mention Crowley. Um, they put him on a pedestal for some reason, as if he's like the grandfather of occultism and there was no occultism before him. Uh, but yet in that same breath, they'll also say this all goes back to ancient Egypt, ancient Sumeria. Well, Crowley is 19th century, right? So, well, late 18th century, early 19th century, because he died in the 1900s. Um, Egypt and Sumeria are tens of thousands of years older than that. So, like, you can't say that, you know, this all goes back to Crowley and then in the same breath say it all goes back to ancient Egypt and ancient Sumeria. Um, yeah, I have a bad taste in my mouth for Crowley because of the pedestal that people who don't know anything about occultism put him on. Um, I would rather people ask about, like, how do you feel about Roger Bacon? How do you feel about Johann Trithemius? How do you feel about Peter Diabano? They never ask that. People who came centuries before Crowley, they don't ever ask that. They ask, how do you feel about Aleister Crowley? They never even ask, how do you feel about modern authors, right? How do you feel about Paul Hewson? Or, or he's probably dead now, but how do you feel? Or, and if he's not, then I apologize for that. But he was kind of old when he wrote Mastering Witchcraft, so whatever. Uh, how do you feel about, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Frater Ashen Shashan? Or, you know, how do you feel about uh, Donald Tyson or Matt Arne? They never ask that. It's always, how do you feel about Crowley? It's like, stop putting Crowley on this pedestal. He, he, he doesn't deserve any questions. Just, yo. Did you want um, two burgers? Uh, two burgers is good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry, they're making making food. My boy, girl, making food. Um, but yeah. So, Crowley doesn't deserve any questions. So much to get. I don't like Crowley purely because I didn't need to study Golden Dawn to come to similar spiritual ideas he took from others. <laughs> How do you feel about chicken nuggets, though? There you go. That's the question. That's the question. As long as they don't have any preservatives or antibiotics, 
I'm good. I'm good. How did you self-initiate? I did not. I was formally initiated. Um, I did not do a, a, a self-initiation. Suggestions on proper initiation practice? Well, properly, um, if you're asking about initiation, first, let me just, before I even answer this question, because it's going to piss people off, initiation is not required to do magic, right? Magic in general does not require initiation. You only need that if you are going through certain systems or traditions or practices that require it to work with their spirits or to learn their mysteries or whatever. Um, general magic in and of itself does not require initiation. Uh, so with that said, um, I did not self-initiate. I was part of a coven uh, when I first came into the occult and was uh, um, received the first degree mysteries uh, from High Priestess Caroline Graham. So I did not self-initiate. Uh, but suggestions on proper initiatory practices, you would want to find uh, some sort of a group, a coven, a, a grove, an order, uh, whatever. Um, a circle, a societe uh, that is looking for new members and then um, see if, you know, they're willing to bring you in and, uh, you know, train you. And when your training is done, offer initiation. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Damn, bro. How is he cooking them, though? How is who cooking them? Oh, my, oh, my, my, uh. My friend, uh, they they always cook it how I want it. There, there, there's no risk of it being medium rare or rare. It's always well done. It's always well done. Do you know any YouTubers that you think best represents hoodoo or voodoo? No, I don't really look. I, I don't really follow any um, occult content creators, um, and I do that on purpose because I don't want to fall into the alg the the wrong the wrong algorithm. I like staying on the new age, the paranormal, and the occult conspiracy. I don't want my video showing up in the witchcraft algorithm or the occult or the witch talk algorithm or whatever um, because I'd be preaching to the choir. Those guys already know all this stuff. They know not to believe in channeling and they know not to, you know, uh, 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 you know, think you're doing planetary grid work and all that other nonsense. Um, so I'd be preaching to the choir if my video showed up there. So I purposely don't follow anybody or I'll say very few people do I follow uh, that are legitimate occultists. Um, so no, I don't know of anybody on YouTube. I know plenty of real people in the real world, uh, that can assist you. Uh, but I don't know any content creators. Uh, no, um, all the people that I know that do hoodoo and voodoo are real people that you can go to their physical house. And I don't mean like their where they live. I mean, their group, like, you know, their coven as they would call it. Um, but it's called a house. Uh, their house. You can actually go to their house and see their Kanzos, see their Misas, you know, you can actually see them, you know, doing things. Uh, they're not just on the internet. Uh, so, medium rare, medium well only. Well, that's cool. Um, I like mine well done. I don't want to see any red. I don't want to see any of the cow. I want to see it cooked. The gods gave us fire. We stole the fire from heaven. Let's use it. Let's not just halfway cook it. But that's just me. I like cooked food. Is it true, Abermelon operation, it takes 18 months to get a response from your, uh, I, I think you mean your HGA. Um, no, uh, it can take anywhere from six months to 18 months. 18 months is more of the modernized version. Um, six months is the, uh, or six to 12 is the original. So. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> GA equals guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. But that's why I'm always saying, like, semantics matter in the occult. Your guardian angel and your holy guardian angel are not the same thing, right? You, you, you probably have multiple uh, guardian angels that come in and out of your life on a regular basis. But uh, your holy guardian angel is... A singular entity that you know is always with you i'm big on the fire but don't cook the flavor out of my steak that's why the gods gave us sauces and seasonings and those types of things you have a link for the google drive please no this is my google drive new no. this is not a public google drive this is my personal google drive <clears throat>
Mm-mm. What do we got in here? Okay, we got 14. All right, so it's starting to starting to get a little bigger. Starting to get a little bigger. Be sure to uh, put your questions on occultism in the chat. If you guys have any questions about magic, witchcraft, sorcery, divination, astral work, anything like that, communicating with spirits, put it in the chat. Let's talk. Is the holy guardian angel an Enochian? No. I'm still confused about what Enochians are. Um, I mean... It depends on who you talk to. They're not even sure. Like the people who practice, they're not even sure. Um, so people switch off between the term angel or the term entity. I prefer the term entity because we're not entirely sure who they are. There are some beings that uh, were worked with in Enochian that are angels like uh, Ariel and Raphael and things like that. Um, but then there are angels or beings that uh, have nothing but consonants for their names. Right? What the heck is that? Right? Like, what kind of entity is that? So, I don't know. And, um, yeah, so, you know, just calling them entities seems to be the best, the best thing for now. Mm -mm. Like the live. Yes, like the live, please. I want to write a poem for my HGA. Do it. Do it. I'm sure they will enjoy it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If anybody remembers, uh, what was that, Zoolander? What was that? Do it. I forget which uh, Ben Stiller. I was going to say Ben Affleck. Ben, ben Stiller movie. That little quote comes from. Oh, uh, for the person who asked earlier um, about uh, proper proper initiatory practices, um, here's a good book on initiation by Rene Guénon. Um, Perspectives on Initiation is a fantastic text if you're looking for initiatic um, practices and the proper way to go about it. Here's a table of contents. Um, I would highly recommend this, even probably over the next one I'm going to show you, which is a Julius Evola book. Uh, yes, we know he's a fascist, but take that out. It doesn't take away from the occult uh, information. Um, so, yeah. Quite a few chapters, 48 chapters. But what will probably be important to you on the proper is probably chapter four, conditions for initiation. Um, you probably want to look at chapter seven against mixing traditional forms. You don't want to do that, especially when you uh, are talking or going through initiation. Uh, ch chapter nine, tradition and transmission, and chapter 10. Uh, maybe also 14 and 15 are going to be probably the most important. I have to go in a few to do grocery shopping and pay my rent. Hope to be back before you're off, though. Awesome. Yeah, I, I should still be here. Uh, I might be mobile, though. We we might switch over to mobile. I don't know. <clears throat> so my HGA is like the one who's been around me since birth or something. Uh, one of the beings that's been around you since birth, yes. Definitely. Um, all right, where's that Evola one? Is it is it in here? What's this? I don't think this is it. I think it's just called On Initiation or something. All right, let me just type in Initiation. There it is. Oh, so it, it was that book. All right. The Concept of Initiation by Julius Evola. So Rene Guanan is Perspectives on Initiation. Julie Civola is the concept of initiation. Uh, so check those out if you're still in here. I, I don't even know if you're, if you're still in here. But um, yeah. 
the Julius Evola book is much shorter. It's only 21 pages. Um, they're both good, but obviously you want the one that's going to go deeper, which is this one, which is uh, 309 pages. So. Uh, going to download those PDFs. Please, please do. Please do. Peace. What's up? What's up? Yashaya. You said one of them is with me since birth. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means exactly that. Uh, you're born with certain beings um, being associated and assigned to you. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really know how else to explain that. What's up? What's up, shit wizard? What's going on? Good afternoon. What's up, Jeff James? It's been a minute. How are you, brother? Been a minute. Glad to see you're around. Sorry for asking a lot of questions. I'm just trying to understand. No, you can ask as many questions as you as you want. That's what I'm I'm here for, to answer questions. But we might switch over to mobile though, um, so we can get the max number of people in here. I don't know why the algorithm doesn't favor desktop, but. Uh, we want some questions. We want some questions in here. And normally, there are so many questions that I get backed up. I get I get behind. And uh, no ditty. I get behind. And um, yeah, that's what I prefer. I prefer a, a crap ton of questions. Um, but it looks like only like two of you are asking questions. So I might just switch over to mobile so the algorithm can push this out to the max number, and we can get our normal numbers in here. The regular numbers that we normally get, that's what we should be getting. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, do we have spirit guides? Um, yes, but not in the new agey way, right? They're not like... It's not like the Buddha and Jesus and Gandhi and Krishna and, you know, like these, it's, it's not what the new age tries to make spirit guides, which is essentially just ascended masters, which is really just popular gods from around the world. Um, it's, it's not that, um, you do have spirits that, uh, walk with you, um, as they would call it in like certain traditions of like voodoo and stuff like that, but they're not like the brahmas and all the it's 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 not stuff like that i feel like i keep asking this question but how do i summon my hga yeah you do add so i would say write this down because you ask a lot of questions and that's fine but a lot of the questions you've asked before and it, it's starting to feel like you don't listen and i'm not trying to be mean but write this down so that way you don't have to ask this again um, so if you're interested in learning how to summon your holy guardian angel, you would have to follow a prescribed ritual protocol to get in touch with your holy guardian angel. Um, so something like the Abermelon, which I think you asked about earlier, or, uh, something like getting in touch with your Ori or your head spirit, right? Those types of rituals. Um, so I would advise to, uh, look at texts like Michael Chittatelli's holy guardian angel. Um, texts like uh, Frater um, Chassan's uh, Holy Daemon, um, or you can look at the Abermelon, stuff like that. So, what kind of guides do people usually have? Well, you have your HGA, you have your Nativity Angel, you have your Presiding Angel, you've got your ancestors, you've got any spirits or any deities that you may have made deals with and packs with, um, generally stuff like that. Regarding alchemy and archetypes, how does one write their own story and play their character? I don't know what that means. I'm not an alchemist, uh, so I'm not sure what that means. He's indoctrinated by text. Uh, what do you mean by that, person with no real name? What do you mean by that? How to contact the head spirit. It would be similar to the way you would contact your HGA. You would have to follow a prescribed ritual. All books, no nature or touch within. Yeah, the books aren't for me. They're for you right? 
the books are for people don't have to just believe me, which is what you're looking for. You want to just say things and provide no foundation, no actual source. Just believe me. And if you don't believe me, then I'm just going to insult you and I'm going to throw all these ad hominem attacks like you're doing right now. Right. These texts aren't for me. These texts are for you. So that way, the words that I say, you don't just go, oh, pish posh. You don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Why don't you go read? I don't know, whatever book that references what I'm talking about. So, yeah, this isn't new age. This isn't just believe me, bro. This is, you don't have to believe me. Faith is not required. This is not a religion. You don't have to believe me. You can repeat the experiments that I've done and get the same or a similar result. How do you repeat an experiment? You got to learn the experiment. How do you learn the experiment? From books. You're not just going to go within and know how to do things, which is what you're trying to insinuate that you can just go within. You don't need to read any books. Just go within. It's all within. It's not all within. And I can prove that right now, which you're not going to give me an answer for this. I know you won't. You'll, I'm calling it out right now. You're going to dance around it. But here's how I know that you can't go within and learn anything, really. Ready? Go within right now and tell us the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. I'll give you all the time in the world that you need. Go within and come back and give us the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. What is the best day to contact your HGA? I would suggest starting on a Sunday. Um, wait, wait, wait. Do, do you mean beginning the ritual? Like beginning to start the process of contact? Or do you mean after you've already made contact and you want to continue summoning them um, on like a weekly basis or something like that? Is that what you mean? Because if you're talking about getting started, I would start on a Sunday, right? And then go from there. Uh, but if you've already made initial contact, uh, from there, you can contact them whenever you want. People that go for text are already lost, if that's if that's how you feel. But I asked you to go within and tell us about the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. You're going to dance around it. You, you'll do everything to not give the answer. Rather than just say, I don't, I don't, I don't know, and just prove everybody, you know, that you're wrong, um, you're going to dance around it. But that's okay. I have ADHD and kids, so yeah, I try to pay attention, but it's difficult. My bad. No problem. But yeah, write that down. Write that down. What kind of prescribed ritual? Can I make one? Uh, you can make one, but you shouldn't do it if you've never done the prescribed ritual before. When I say prescribed, I mean something that came before. Something that wasn't just made up out of thin air, like uh, YJ, DJ, D, D, I, D, J, K, D is trying to say. right? Things that he just pulls out of his ass that make no sense, that have no foundation, that he got from going within. Right? Um, that's what I mean. Stuff that's not that. Stuff that has been practiced for centuries beforehand, so we have evidence of it working, right? We don't just believe one person on the internet. We can go back and we can trace through history where this ritual came from and how it got to where we are today. Um, so, like, for example, the Abermelon. <clears throat> not insults, it's just observations. No, you insult, but that's okay. Can we bring things in this realm from dreams? Uh, in a way, you can. I mean, in, in some cases, that's what magic is, right? Bringing things out of the astral into the physical, right? You can dream about, you know, having a giant mansion and Ferraris and all that other stuff, and then you can make it real, right? It's, it's not going to be instantaneous like Doctor Strange or something like that, but you can dream about something, and then you can make it real in, in the real world. I mean, that's what art is, right? Right, you see something in in your head, whether it's in a dream, whether it's in a, a drug induced stupor or whatever. You you see something on the astral, and then you paint it, or you sculpt it, or you make music, or you know whatever, and now it's real. <clears throat> I know source, you a fallen one, Ion, Ion Man, Red Sun, more. Yeah, so just like I said, you're going to dance around, going within, and telling us the mystery of the eighth, ninth, and tenth. So, and that's exactly what you're doing. But that's okay. Uh, how did you get all of those juicy occult PDFs? I just found them uh, looking on the internet uh, over many, many, many years. Uh, different forums, different depositories. So I know your identity that you have not an idea of. Yeah, first, learn how to speak English. Second, can you go within and uh, tell us the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th? 
you can't go within. We're not the same. That's not the question. Like, like I called it out, you're going to dance around and you're dancing around. Instead of just directly answering the question, you're dancing around. If I say, what is one plus one? You should just respond to. I don't care what your mom did last night and oh, on the news and oh, I watched this movie. That's what you're doing right now. I ask a direct question and rather than giving you a direct answer, you dance around it. So, but I called it out beforehand. That's how everyone knows you're a troll, right? So, 10 is a number that doesn't exist in nature. Yeah, you're dancing around the question. So, thank you very much. Your mysteries are hoaxes. There's no truth to it. You have to provide evidence of that. You can't just make a claim. That's a knowledge claim. You need to provide evidence. So, can you go within and tell us the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th? Uh, where do I find the prescribed ritual? What book or text? Well, I, I already gave one, the Abermelon. Um, so you can just look up the book of Abermelon. Um, but that's only one. There's there's numerous. Um, I also talked about uh, Holy Guardian Angel by Michael Cittitelli. Um, You can use that. I talked about Holy Damon by Frater um, Ashen Shashan. You can try that. Mm-mm. You so press that people will see you for who you are. People already see me for who I am. Someone who helps people with foundation. Someone who provides references and sources for the things he says. It's not just a bunch of trust me, bro. It's not just a bunch of trust me, bro. But anyway, bro hating on you for real. Why? Because he doesn't have any followers. He can't go live and do what I do. And and if he can go live, it's just, it's just a bunch of trust me. Just trust me. Just trust that I can do all the things that I say and not and not tell you how to do it i'm not going to tell you how to do it i'm not going to show you how to do it i'm just going to say that i can do it and if you don't believe me then you you're what did he call me a red ion more and all these other but yet he's not there's there's no insults it's just an observation like bro you like he's he's literally a, a troll and he's bad at it though because if i can call you out before you start trolling and then you end up doing the exact same thing i called you out for you're a terrible troll you should be able to in the moment regroup and re-strategize in the moment if you need trolling classes yj yjd jdi djkd if you need trolling lessons every saturday from noon till 3 p.m on twitch i go live on twitch and i offer trolling lessons you can enroll in the troll university and i will show you how to troll properly so when people like me come around you you'll know how in the moment to reassess the situation regroup re-strategize and try again Yo, thank you, bro. Gratitude. Burgers. Is this is this low vibrational? Is this low vibrational? Y J K D J D D D I D. Holy Damon by Frater Acker as well. Yes, yep, we talked about that one. You always lie on me. Can you can you prove me otherwise? Or do we just have to believe you? Have you ever practiced planetary magic? Yes, I practice planetary magic on a regular basis. I have my uh, planetary layman's right here. Go ahead and snitch on yourself. Yeah, and, and guys, notice he still has not answered the question. I called him way before he even started it. Most of you were here. I told him, I know what you're going to do. I'm going to ask you a question. You're not going to answer it. You're going to dance around it. And we still have not gotten the answer yet. It's been what, eight? Nine minutes, still have not gotten the answer. What is the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th? <clears throat> Pretty sure more was used as a racial attack. It was, but I'm not, like, he's trying to get a rise out of me, and it's it's not working. Everyone can see YJD, JD, DID, JKD for exactly what they are, right? A nobody with no following can't you know can't go live can't you know show anything can't provide any evidence just all they can do is throw ad homonyms because they can't your your call out and observations are not accurate that's why it's missing if it's not accurate then can you provide the accurateness because all you're doing is dan every time i give you a question you dance around it right if you talk about rainbows and then I ask a question about the rainbow, instead of answering that question, you jump to cars. And then I say, okay, well, let's talk about cars now. And then you want to jump to books. Okay, let's talk about books now. You want to jump to fixing houses. You're jumping around. I'm still waiting on the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. My 
Michael Chittatelli's Holy Guardian Angel, Frater Acker's Holy Damon. Got it. Yes. What's a good ward for keeping out nasty spirits? Um, from like your place, like your space, or like from like your ritual space? Because those would be two different types of, uh, of, of wards. If you're talking about your ritual space, a magic circle can do just, just fine. Um, but if you're talking about like your physical space, oh my god, why does this keep moving like that? When if if you talk about your physical, like your um, house or your place of uh, business, you, you can do things like witch bottles. You can um, put certain sigils uh, on each of the doorways and each of the windows. And if you have one like a chimney, you know any entrance or exit points for the home uh, that spirits would be able to enter in. Um, or you can just make up your own. Uh, there are plenty of spell books out there with uh, wards and stuff like that. I don't. I don't know spells off the top of my head. I don't, you know, memorize spells. Um, but uh. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's see. Your mysteries are hoaxes. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go drink some low vibrational water. <laughs> See, he a one ion man lacking antennas around his heavens. He doesn't get the signal. Yeah, I don't get your signal. Yeah, no, I have no problem admitting. Whatever you're on, I don't. I definitely don't get that. But you've not provided any occult information. You've not corrected me on anything. All you're doing is attacking. You've not provided any correction. You've not provided any alternate information or anything like that. It's just, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm wrong. I'm a one ion man, a more this, more that. Can you provide something of substance? No. Still waiting for the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Is Enochian magic considered a foundation? I wouldn't say so. Uh, the foundation for Enochian magic would be Western ceremonial magic. So I would study that before studying Enochian. The man couldn't climb out of the 4D for his life. Yeah, we're still waiting on the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. To creation, yes. To your practice, you don't start with Enochian. Thank you, Brother Hummingbird. There you go. What's a good war against unwanted spirits? I don't know. A good war. Oh, is that the the ward question? And you just forgot the D? Sorry. Uh, but I already answered that. Eight and nine deals with Uranus and Neptune. That's the upper brains. Ten doesn't just an age. Nope, we're not talking about whatever that is. Um, so that's how I know you. Because if you could go within and learn anything, you would go within. And your within would tell you exactly what religion, what spiritual path, what part of the world, what culture we're talking about. When, it, when we talk about the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. But you have no idea because you can't go within and learn anything. We're not talking about anything dealing with the brain or anything like that. So, your questions are unvalid. How? Can you demonstrate how they're unvalid? You can't. You're going to dance around that too. Do you think Wicca is a legitimate practice or not? Mm, I don't want to disparage the Wiccans, but uh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm gonna go get. Uh, I need to get some condiments for my for my burger here. I I, I got burgers here. I gotta get some condiments because it's it's plain burger. I, I was about to bite into it and it's plain. I'll be right back. Brb. Let uh let 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 ykg day g d d i d. Maybe maybe he'll finally give us some substance while I'm gone. Maybe he'll correct me instead of just throwing insults. Maybe while I'm gone we'll get some learning. Can you correct me on anything that I've said? Ykg d i d j k d. Can you correct me? Can you offer any alternative information or is it just attacks? What are you gonna do? Just attack? Yes. I'm calling it right now. That's what I'm going to see when I come back. More attacks. Not actual any teaching or anything like that. But, yeah. So, BRB.
Ooh, did we get any learnings? Did we get any learnings? Put this down right there. Move this over here. Let's see, let me scroll up a little bit. Did we get any learnings? Indoctrinated text doesn't exist within. Even if that's true, you should be able to answer the question because you can learn anything by going within, right? Anything, anything. That's the totality of all things that exist, whether it's written or not. So whether it's written, whether whether I just whispered it right now and, ju and just made it up, you should be able to go within and just know it, right? Don't gotta learn nothing. <clears throat> Your eight, nine, and 10 is text, no mystery. What a fraudulent shield. N no, that's not, <laughs> it's not a shield and it's not fraudulent. It comes from first to fourth, in, uh, first to fourth century BCE. That should be your first hint on where you need to learn to look, right? And it's not text, it was written on a tablet. So uh, waiting for you to answer. Nope, that's not true wisdom, how? Right, I've, I've asked you three or four times now to demonstrate, all, you said the questions are invalid. There's no demonstration of that, right? You've not demonstrated that. This is not true wisdom. You've not demonstrated how it's not true wisdom, right? You're just saying things instead of correcting anything that I'm saying that may be incorrect. <clears throat> Already did, you deflecting, you didn't. And okay, if you did, then you should have no problem just repeating it again. Traditional Wicca is a legitimate practice. Neo Wicca is rarely a practice. <laughs> See guys, life is about growing your ions, your inner light. Yeah, um, can you can you uh, demonstrate how and why life is about that? Let me educate you since this fraud left the mic. Yes, please go ahead. You grow your inner light via sun and moon radiation. Um, so skin cancer? Is what you're saying? At least from the sun, the moon doesn't radiate. Um, but uh, so skin cancer is 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 the way. And just as the heavens have two eyes, so does a human. One eye for a proton, one eye for an electron. So can you describe how and why we should view the sun and the moon as eyes? Because I don't recall any culture in history that does that, right? The sun and the moon are represented usually by their own specific energies. Um, they're not looked at as, as eyes. Would you be able to demonstrate how and why uh, that is valid? You, are you a, uh, are you a Hebrew Israelite? Is that what you are? Are you a Hebrew Israelite or, or one of those Hebrew roots movement people? Is that what this is? A human is biologically designed to absorb sun rays through the dominant eye and moon from the other. What's your foundation on this? Why should we believe this? Can you demonstrate how and why this is true? If you guys don't balance your heart that have scales within won't pass the way in. Yeah, yes. Okay, so you're a black Hebrew Israelite because you're mixing pseudo-Egyptian mythology with whatever other neo-New Age nonsense that you're talking about there. Um, yeah. You're trying to mix the scales of Ma'at with whatever it is that you're talking about here. Are there any books on Western ceremonial traditions? Oh, yes. There's plenty of books on Western ceremonial traditions. Um, I would actually... It's it's not in here. I would start with... Where is it? Uh, there's this little teeny tiny little book. Uh, it's a quick read. Um... Maybe it's on my shelf over here. It's a quick read. Yes. <clears throat> this is the gold standard in uh, Western occultism, or excuse me, I'll, uh, I'll say Western esotericism. So you can understand the foundation of the uh, occult practice from the Western perspective. I would start here with Antoine Favre's Western Esotericism, A Concise History. It's a pretty thin book, but this is literally the gold. Any scholar worth their weight will tell you that the fact that this book was finally translated into English is a phenomenon beyond itself. Um, this is fantastic. So it's Western Esotericism, A Concise History by Antoine Favre. And then with the um, translation by Christine 
uh, Rune. Um, I would start there. Um, and then from there, maybe Agrippa, his three books, right, which we do every Tuesday night, would be good. Um, ah, here's one. Heinrich Bogdan, who's another scholar. He's a professor in Germany, I think. He's a German professor um, of, like, religious history with a focus of, like, occultism and, and magic. Uh, Western esotericism and rituals of initiation is really good. Um, I'd, st I'd go there. Um... Out of these, these are all Crowley. So the Picatrix is fine if you want like astrological magic. Um, let's see. Oh, so the J.O. Sophia um, is part of the Encyclopedia Goetica. Uh, so you can get, which uh, I've got, obviously I have a, a, a PDF right here. But I've got the physical copies of the J.O. Sophia, Volume 1 and 2, and the Testament of Cyprian. I don't have his version of the Virum. I have Peterson's Virum. Um, but, uh, yeah, get the Encyclopedia Goetica series. And uh, that should help you out as well. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. My words are aligned with source. Your words are aligned with text. Yeah, you don't... You still don't understand the reason for books. You can't go... Specifically for the reason that you can't tell us the mystery of the 8th, 9th, and 10th proves you can't go within and learn anything. No one wakes up and just meditates and, and, and they suddenly understand the mysteries of the universe. You have to be taught those things, right? This is a global world now. This isn't 18 or 16 or 15 or 1400s or whatever where you have to learn from people like that are physically around you this is a global world now right things are global so that means oral traditions are not going to survive they're not going to survive on a global scale right the only way to get information out on a global scale is to write it down so i'm sorry that you want to be able to go within and learn things but it it, it doesn't work and the fact that you can't answer any of my questions by going within proves that you could shut me down right now. All you have to do is just go within and then come out and go, yes, here is the mystery of the 8th, ninth, and 10th. The 8th is this, the ninth is this, and the 10th is this. And it comes from this particular culture, from these particular centuries, which I already gave you the centuries, 1st to 4th century BCE, right? But you can't. See, that's how far off you are. I'm a Lemurian. You're you're not a Lemurian. You're some new age, you know, believer talking psychobabble. There is no such thing as a Lemurian, and you can't demonstrate that there is a such thing. We like I've been like I've been saying since the beginning. You want people to just believe you. You provide no foundation. You provide no sources. You say something and expect people to just believe you. We don't. We don't. So you can talk about all the ions you want. It makes no sense. No one here is taking you seriously. No one. And the only reason you're staying in here is because you can't cultivate your own audience. You can't. You cannot cultivate your own audience. So maybe go within and learn how to develop your own audience. <clears throat> I know your light that you don't even know. Okay, sure. Sure you do. You know higher ups. That's not how you spell higher. You going within doesn't teach you how to do grammar correctly. That's interesting. You know higher ups in occult find your confusion hilarious. Yeah. Higher ups in the occult actually endorse. Because I can name higher ups in the occult that you can actually go and talk to right now. That would validate not just the things that I'm saying, but me. Because they know me personally people that you can go out right now right brother moloch okay fuchat nam Puen, aka rocky geese these are two voodoo priests who run houses their own societes down in south florida conjure man ali runs the house of kimbanda out of southern california michael chittatelli but he's in prison so you can't really contact him but him the author of The Cross Keys, Chasing the Dragon, Holy Guardian Angel, the late great Donald Michael. Okay, you can't talk to him. He's dead now. Okay. Um, uh, 
fucking um what's the guy who runs primal craft mark allen smith these are legitimate occultists that you can reach out to right now that do not have a social media presence they're not influencers they're not content creators they run real physical locations that you can go to to learn occultism and i've worked with them in real life i can name people i don't just say things you just say things and expect people to believe you again we don't so stop stop real occultists with real not just random single people these people run covens orders groves societs it's not just a person like a single person these are people who are respected in the occult community you don't have that why don't you have that because you don't have a foundation you're blindly believing things about lumeria what what You're in here talking about ions, photons, and all this other nonsense, and you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> but let's see. Proton and electron, you don't even understand the basics of electricity. I never claimed to understand the basics of electricity. I, I only mention proton and photon like right now so i don't know why you you're just claiming things that were never mentioned a lumerian sounds like an elven race from the tolkien books well it's just lumerian uh not a lumerian it's just lumerian but yes it's uh some new age nonsense this is not my only account yeah i know i i, I know there now so, there's that one so why don't you use your main account to communicate why don't you use your main account to build content right you use troll accounts like stop stop it you're a hybrid one ion man yeah you can't provide any foundation or source you you just make the claim you just make the claim you just make the claim <clears throat> light doesn't deal with grammar uh, i i guess that's what you're supposed to say yeah so you're just making excuses for why you can barely talk why you can barely speak you're it's it's insane oh he's in prison occult didn't save him no the occult didn't save him uh because that's not what the occult is for right a again you going within didn't tell you what the occult is supposed to be used for this isn't dr strange this isn't the chilling adventures of sabrina this is real life who made the claim that the occult is supposed to save you from jail? Who made that claim? And if you knew that the occult doesn't serve that purpose, you wouldn't have said it. But you don't know that because you don't know anything. They're not higher ups. I'm talking about the guys who show no face. You know Bobby Hammett? I know of Bobby Hammett and he showed his face. So what are you, what are you talking about? brother panic yes these are conspiracy theorists you're believing these black hebrew israelite conspiracy theorist type people stop get a foundation you have no foundation don't be so pressed not press that's the problem with you new agers you you can't take any criticism right you you can't sit here like i am and answer questions that are thrown at you you like has been shown Everyone in the chat can scroll back up through the chat and they can read exactly what you're saying. You jump around. There's no there's no cohesion with the things that you're saying. You'll say one sentence, I'll respond to it, and then you jump to something else. That's the problem with you New Agers. Nothing stays straight. It's all a bunch of jumbles in your head. Do you like Crowley? No, I don't like Crowley. They are stuck in the 4D. You, I, I, again, I'm and, and I'm still waiting for the last five that I've asked you. Can you demonstrate that? You can't demonstrate that they're stuck in the 4D. So why should I believe you? You can't demonstrate it. <clears throat> Proton and electron. I never mentioned photon. You like lying. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Levi, uh, Elifus Levi, yeah, I don't have a problem with him. He said photons are ions. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I don't know. Life is based on electricity and radiation. You just didn't know. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Thank you for telling us now. Now we all know. Now we all have the light. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get back to actual people with real questions. Because this YKG Day GDD guy is just... We spent too much time on actual nonsense. So... <clears throat> All right, let's see, let's see. Going in today, bro. Sometimes you got to. Sometimes you got to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, brother hummingbird. He's just he's just trolling. He has like it's and it's and it's sad too. And then you call them out, and instead of, like, doing what other trolls do, leave after you call them out, they continue to do the thing that you called them out on. It's, it's, the, it's the crazy... It's like they have to double down now that they got called out. It's the craziest thing. Why don't you like Crowley? Um, most of my criticisms for Crowley... Uh, so first, let me say, I echo the same criticisms that most people within the occult have with Crowley. I echo those same criticisms. Um, however, my dislike of Crowley comes from the fact that people who are outside of the occult put Crowley on such a pedestal that they make him seem like he's some godfather of the occult or, you know, he's the originator of occultism and before him there was no occult. All these conspiracy theorists, right? Um, all of these like new agers and stuff like that, they, they put Crowley on this pedestal um, where I feel as though there are people both living and dead who deserve that recognition over Crowley, right? I, I mean, there's no conspiracy video that I can find that if they try to trace uh, uh, Hollywood, you know, ooh, like Illuminati, ooh, oh, 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 when they try to trace all that stuff back, they, they say it goes back to Crowley, right? Like Crowley is the originator of everything and anything occult. But then those same people in another video will say it all goes back to ancient Egypt and ancient Sumeria. Well, which is it? Because Crowley is recent, like last hundred years recent. Sumerian Egypt is tens of thousands of years older than Crowley. It can't go back to Crowley and also go back to ancient Egypt or ancient Sumeria. It has to be one or the other. And it's every conspiracy theorist. I've never heard a conspiracy theorist say, hey guys, this stuff actually goes back to Agrippa. Hey guys, this stuff actually goes back to Peter Abano. Hey guys, this stuff actually goes back to Roger Bacon. Hey guys, this stuff actually goes back to Johann Trithemius, Reginald Scott, anything like that. Nope. It starts and stops at Crowley for some reason. Why? Why? It's upsetting and it left a bad taste in my mouth for anything dealing with Crowley. So... Mystic, you should block him. He's not here to learn. Well, I'm not going to block him. But yeah, he's definitely not here to learn. What's your take on people in the occult community who say, find what works for you? So I do agree with that to an extent, right? Not everything in the occult, especially UPG, is going to work for everyone else. But there are rituals that have existed throughout the centuries that we have evidence that Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of that, whatever. I mean, we don't know for sure how many people have practiced that one thing. But we have evidence that these things work throughout the centuries, right? So there are rites like that. And then there's things like UPG, right? That we have to um, uh, take with a grain of salt, right? So there are things that you can find that work for you and really no one else. But then there are things like the common rites out there uh, that tend to work for pretty much anyone who does them right things like the lbrp or like the middle pillar as much as i don't like those rituals or um the address of metatron or you know things things like that right uh you know uh, 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 we were talking about wicca earlier so drawing down the moon or drawing down the sun or something like that like those tend to work because they've been done throughout centuries right but then if you go and you read a book like um 
uh, find one of the UPG books I have. Um, something like Asaya Ka Luxa, something like this text here, right? You want to, you know, you go and you get something like this and you try to do the ritual. I don't know. Let me find something in here. You try to do um, the golden altar of sacrifice, right? This, you know, you try to do something like the golden altar of sacrifice, right? The golden altar of sacrifice. This is UPG. So it might work for a few people who try it. It might not work for others because it's UPG. So in some cases that is fine, but in other cases, not so much. It just, it just depends. Sorry, I'm going to take a bite of my burger. I got some. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you have content on books for a foundation? Yes. It depends on what specific foundation you're looking for. But um, yeah, go to my TikTok and go to my playlist, my getting started playlist. As soon as it loads up here. What the hell? Nah. <laughs> nah, get out of my face. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? Uh, right here. The Getting Started Playlist. I have several books. Or, excuse me, several videos. Right here. This is book... Uh, this is video four... Um, this is the first video. There's other, uh, I guess I didn't add them in here, but I have four or five videos that, uh, record. Oh, here we go. Right here. This is the third one. And there should be one more. Oh, right here. So there's four videos here, um, with book recommendations, 23 books in all, uh, between the four videos here uh, so go to my getting started playlist check out my getting started playlist all right let me I think I missed a lot of questions let me scroll up here I think I missed a lot because uh, desktop like it'll it'll adjust for me and I, I hate that like it'll sc it'll auto scroll and I'm like I'm not I don't want to auto scroll. I'm going through each question and it wants to auto scroll. Like stop that. All right. What are your thoughts on the Greek magical papyri edited by Hans Dieter Betts? Um I have it, but there are better uh editions uh out, out there um that I would prefer. Well, okay, not better editions than the for the Greek magical papyri, but there are more betterly betterly that's not a word. Better written versions. Um, this isn't the entirety of the Greek Magical Papyri, but it has pr what I would consider the most important parts of the Greek Magical Papyri. Um, Techniques of Greco-Egyptian Magic by Stephen Skinner. It's a pretty thick book. Um, it's not cheap. It's expensive. It's between 65 and 75 bucks. But um, this is a, a probably the best you're going to get outside of Hans Dieter Betts. I'm, I don't believe anyone else has done a modern day exegesis on the Greek magical papyri. That's not academic. I'm sure there's plenty of academic books, but for like a practitioner's perspective, I don't, I don't think so. Um, all right, let me try to scroll down without it auto scrolling. <clears throat> uh, no, nah, that's not true. Uh, what's not true? Um, Disco Tysic. Uh, what are your thoughts on McCarthy's Quaria? I like it. I'm a big fan of Josephine McCarthy. I have a few of her books here. Um, I'm just going to type in McCarthy. So I've got some of the Quaria stuff here, as you can see. I have some of the Quaria stuff. I have her book, The Magical Knowledge Trilogy, or that's really several books in one. I've got her tarot skills for the 21st century. Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, I'm a big fan of Josephine McCarthy. She She's also good friends with a lot of authors that I recommend like R.A. Gilbert and Phil Hine. So she's great. I saw her, um, excuse me, her, um, glitch bottle episode, I guess you want to call it. 
She's really down to earth, really approachable, and she made this for free. Like, Quarry is free. This information, you should probably be paying hundreds of dollars a month for. Like, this is free. And, uh... Oh, I also have this here. The Initiate from Quaria. So. Uh, but yeah, she's, uh... She's great. You know, I've got all the Quaria stuff here. Um, yeah, she's great. No problem with, jo with, with Ms. Mc or Mrs. I don't know if she's married or not, but no problem with Josephine. I'll just say that. Um, he was also a fake Mason. I'm obligated to dislike him. Who? Crowley was a fake Mason? <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Remember to like the live. Yeah, like the live, guys. So we can get this out. What are some good books to learn from as a beginner? Um, you might, you should probably go back to the thing I was saying here. Control Shift T. Um, and on my TikTok, right here, my getting started. I've got quite a few books. Uh, there's four. There's four videos in here with book recommendations. There's four videos in here. Um, and there's 23 books between all four. Have any of you savages set a 10-day Vipassanya meditation course? Uh, set? A, I mean, no, I don't teach meditation, so I've not set any course. Do you mean take a course? Have we taken a 10-day course? No, I'm not, uh, I don't need any meditation courses. Crowley was a plagiarist. I agree. I like that one. Forbidden Rights, have it too. Oh, yeah, the necromancy book, yeah. But there are better books for necromancy out there. If you're interested in necromancy, um, I highly recommend venturing into um, the a the ADRs or at least uh, Necrosophy. So books like um, Sabbatica, this is an anthology. There's um, at last check there's there was eight books, but that was like a year ago. So there could be fifteen now. But um, I have volumes one. I have volumes one, four, and six. I think. I know I have six. I don't know what the second one I have is. I know I have one. I think it's four and six. Yeah, four. One, four. I have one here, four up there, and six is over there. So this is Sabbatica um, by Edgar Carval, Sabbatica. And it's an anthology, which means every chapter is written by a different practitioner. So you don't just get one practitioner's perspective. You get a bunch. Um, the subtitle is... So it's Sabbatica... The Seas of Death and the Arcana of the Deathbringer by Edgar Carval, who's a, a South American um, occultist. Now, this one is from Nephilim Press, but this is the only one he put out through there. The rest were put out through various other uh, publishers, including his own publishing company. Um, but yeah, here's some of the table of contents if you want to know like the stuff it contains. Sorry, just wait for it to clear up to come into focus. There we go. So the Sabbatica series is really good. This is volume one. Um, volume four is right here. Volume four. Sabbatica, volume four. And then volume six, I have that in paperback. Um, it's. I think it's over here. Yeah, Sabbatica Volume 6. Sabbatica Volume 6. So yeah, these are uh, strictly on necromancy. So if you're really interested in necromancy, I would get that. Otherwise, I would go to Hadean Press's website and get books like... Now, these are not strictly necromancy, but there's a lot of necromancy in them. I would get uh, the Contra Codex series. This is Volume 5? This is 5, right? Which one is this? 4. This is Contra Codex 4. Contra Codex 4. A compendium of invocation, evocation, and conjuration. It's edited by the late, great Jake Stratton Kent. RIP to him. He died last year. He was a fantastic, 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 fantastic occultist. I truly believe he will go down in history as, like, our modern day. Like, like we study Agrippa and his work today, and even though he's 500 years old... 
I truly believe in 100 years, 200 years, they will be studying books like the J.O. Sophia, the Testament of Solomon, the Virum, uh, Jake Stratton Kent's Virum, not Joseph H. Peterson's Virum, although they will be studying that too, like we study Agrippa. Uh, and then this is Conjure Codex Volume 5. Volume 5. Uh, I also have Volume 1, but I have that in a PDF on my drive here. Um, so the Conjure Codex series is really good for necromancy. As well as the, as well as the Sabbatica series, um, if you're looking for like darker necromantic stuff, uh, like like evil, um, I guess you even want to call it satanic. Um, Sacerdotum Umbre Mortis by Gillies de Laval. Sacerdotum Umbre Mortis from Aeon Sophia. Uh, here, that way you can actually see. I don't because I don't know if you guys can actually read the gold, so I'll just open it up to the title page. Uh, Sacred Dotum Umbre Mortis by Gilles de Laval or G.D. Laval. And um, it's from Aeon Sophia. They're a bit hit or miss for me. I mean, even though I have three Aeon Sophia. I have three, right? One, two, this is three. Uh, I think that's, uh, yeah, I only have three Aeon Sophia books. Um, they're a bit hit or miss. But um, here's the table of contents. Um, you really don't need to worry about that part, but it, it starts down here, the Sons of Canaan, and goes into the Sons of Canaan, and then on the next page it, you know, continues. If you're interested in necromancy, that's where I would, uh, that's where I would go. I would go with the Sabbatica series first, so that way you can get a well-rounded approach to necromancy, and then from there, Conjure Codex... Something like that. <clears throat> what would happen if two people evoke the same spirit at once? Okay. So. Contrary to popular belief. When you summon a spirit. Especially a named spirit. Or a spirit listed in like the Goetia. Right? If you were to go to the Goetia. Right? And summon. I don't know. Gap, this guy, right? Gap, that, the, that guy, right? Gap. A lot of people believe that Gap is the one who's going to appear. Nine times out of ten, the spirit that you intend to call only comes the first time. Every subsequent contact after that, they usually send another spirit in their place, right? The best way that I can describe it is like this. Ha did anybody ever see that show Entourage? Back in the day, Entourage on HBO, uh, uh, loosely based on Mark Wahlberg's rise through Hollywood, right? It's about this young actor who comes, who moves here, who moves to LA from New York, even though Mark Wahlberg's from Boston. It's loosely based on his life. Um, moves to LA from New York, uh, yeah, and tries to become an actor. And he does, he becomes an actor um jeremy piven played ari gold fan oh my god fantastic performance will go down in history as the best like performance of an agent ever there was a scene in that show where ari gold the best agent in town who's based on the real the real life power agent ari emmanuel look him up um the guy that owns wme they own ufc yeah he's real um that's who Ari Gold was based on. There was an episode where Ari Gold, or a scene, I should say, because this wasn't the whole episode. There was a scene where Ari Gold was trying to sign these two fresh directors. They did a movie, and it went to the festivals, you know, like Cannes, Toronto, Austin, like all the festivals, right? And it got rave reviews. So normally, Hollywood wants to sign you, right? Someone in Hollywood, some agent, wants to sign you because you're the hot thing right now, right? You're a hot director. Studios are going to love your movie, blah, blah, blah. So Ari wanted to sign them, but they didn't want to get signed by any other agent, only Ari. But Ari's the CEO. He doesn't just meet newcomers. If you're a star, if you're like A++, like The Rock or, I don't know, Ben Affleck, okay, then he'll come meet you. But if you're a newcomer, the CEO's not going to come down and meet you, right? But they wanted to meet him. So he came down, he met with them, and he told them, he was like, this is only for the first, the first time. Every time after this meeting, you're not going to deal with me. I'm not your agent. That's your agent over there. You wanted to see me. Here I am. Sign the deal. And now I'm going to pass you off to these because I'm the C. I have, I have a business to run. So even though, yes, I started out as an agent. I like you guys, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm gonna pass you over to the real agent and they're going to manage your career from here on out. I have, to, I have a business to run, right? So spirit work is kind of like that, where initially the spirit that you, the, the named spirit in the catalog will come and they'll sign the deal with you, right? But then every subsequent contact after that, they'll send one of their legions in their stead because they have things to do, right? So if that ever occurs where two people summon a spirit at the same time, nine times out of 10, one of them may get their actual spirit. The other person would get one of the legions, one of their um, lessers or one of their underlings or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to call that, but one of their helper spirits or something like that. <clears throat> where is the experiential wisdom? Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Hey, Mystic, I have to go. Have the day you deserve. Everyone liked the live. Thank you. Done what before? What do you mean by that? Oh, okay. You're talking to somebody in the chat. Okay. Damn, I want your books. Um, if you mean these books, these are free. Just go online and find them somewhere. Uh, if you mean the ones that I'm showing physically, like my like my library here, um, then yeah, those are, you know, you have to find them. But a good place to start is, uh, oh, this isn't them. This is, this is a publisher. A good place to start, write this down, guys. Write this website down. A good place to start is Miskatonic Books. This place. All the publishers that I've been naming, Aeon Sophia, Nephilim, Scarlet Imprint, Wiser, uh, Ibis, Three Hands Press, Atramentus, Anathema. They all sell through Miskatonic. Now, yes, you can go to their respective websites and just get the book directly from them. Uh, but this is a good aggregator, right? Because rather than going to, for example, this is Atramentus Press. Well, if I go to shop, they only have like 10 books to sell. That's it. And these are their 10 books because they... Uh, you know, they publish this fine. Whereas Miskatonic will have their 10 books and then they'll have the 30 books that Scarlet Imprint put out. And then they'll have the 15 books that, uh, that, you know, whatever put out and so on and so forth. So this is a good aggregator. This is, this is a good aggregator. <clears throat> Hello there. How are you? What's up, Armin? What's going on? You cannot learn from books. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, and I, I guess I'm going to have to give you the same experiment that I gave to the previous person because what you're saying, Eden and Susanna, is if you can't learn from books, there's only, other, there's only one other way to learn, and that's going within. So if you can learn anything by going within, then I'm going to ask you to go within right now. I don't. You should need no preface because you can learn anything by going within, right? So there should be no preface. You need no previous information. Go within and learn the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th, and then come out and tell us. So take your time, do whatever you need. Go meditate, do your little sound bowls, do your yoga, do your throat singing, whatever you need to do to get into an altered state so you can go within. And I need you to, when, when you're within, when you're in your little inner, inner world, I need you to learn the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th, and then come back and go, okay, Here's the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. And tell us. Unless those books have experiments that you can participate in. They, they do. Have you never read an occult book? So you're just looking at a cover and making an assumption. You're judging a book by its cover is what you're doing. These are ritual books. Not all of them. Some of them are just foundational. But there are rituals and spells in them that people can participate in. Have you never looked at any occult book? Or do you just read the raw materials, the Kabbalion, the Law of One, the Compendium of the Emerald Tablets, books that have no foundation, books that have no sources, books that say, believe me, just believe me, trust me, bro. And if you don't trust me, then I'm going to throw all these ad hominem attacks at you. Yeah. <clears throat> you cannot prove anything with words ever. That is impossible. i um, not sure what you're referring to there but you can certainly prove things with words you are incorrect and are only in a position to determine that after you've taken one i'm not sure what you're referring to um so 
Stay away from the books, people. No, you should probably go to the books because you're not going to learn anything by going within. You won't learn anything by going within. <clears throat> Excuse me. The things that you read don't go along with your pre-existing beliefs you will reject because, uh, what? You shouldn't reject it if it doesn't go, if it doesn't al uh, align with your previous beliefs. You should compare them, find out why they don't align, and then do deeper research, which means going into the books. You're not going to be able to go within and go, okay, so I read this book on Hermeticism, and I read this book on Kabbalah, and I don't understand why they conflict. So I'm going to meditate and go within and find it out. You're not going to be able to do that. You need to do deeper research on Hermeticism and deeper research on Kabbalah to find that out. You're not going to be able to go within and get that information. Yes, he did just say that, Brother Hummingbird. These New Agers are ridiculous, right? They always want to go within. Oh, everything is within. But then when I, when I give them a real experiment to go within and tell us, they've got nothing. They dance around it. They jump around. They, they pretend that they didn't hear the question and they didn't see the question. Like, stop. You heard me. You heard me. But yet you're going to act like I didn't ask it, right? It's insane. It's insane. I didn't hear the question because I'm turning my microphone on to type to you. You don't. Are you not familiar with how TikTok works? You don't need to turn your microphone on to talk to me. Um, I didn't invite you up and nor can I invite you up because I'm before you accuse me of being scared, I'm going to show you why I can't invite you up because I'm streaming on Twitch as well. I'm dual streaming both Twitch and here's the TikTok. Sorry for the double vision that you are about to see. I'm streaming on Twitch and TikTok. My camera is not going to be able to split between three different sources. It can only split between two sources. So there's no way that I'll be able to even bring you up to have a discussion or else it'll kick me off of one of the streams. So you don't need to turn your microphone on. And I had to show that because you'll because you'll do what everyone does whenever they don't get what they want. Oh, you're scared. You're scared. Not scared. I'm streaming on two different platforms. And the, I, I, I'm not some I'm not Jake Paul. I don't have 50,000 cameras around here where I can just go, OK, well, then we'll just use camera 15 to turn on and then you can come up. I have one webcam and it can only be split between two sources. But the question was. Go within and tell us the mysteries of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. I can't come on anyway. I'm in jail until June 3rd. Okay. Okay. I'm doing the thing where hitting the button voice to text. Is that what you're talking about? <clears throat> hey, Mystic, do you have your Twitch on your link tree? Uh, no, I don't because it's brand new. I literally started it like last week. And we'll be posting on YouTube. Uh, yes, I posted videos yesterday and the day before on YouTube. Please go check them out. Please go check out my YouTube. We need followers over there too. I put this out. Put this out. This out. So go take a look. Take a look. Subscribe. We need more people over there. So it's something I can do, yes? Is something what? Is magic? Is the occult something you can do? Y y yes, magic is applied. This isn't the new age. This isn't just, just believe the raw materials. Just believe the Kabbalion. This is real occultism, real magic. Yes, you can do it. Magic is meant to be applied. Belief not required. Faith not required. This is not a religion. Faith not required. Bon appetit, my brother. Thank you very much. It's cold now because I've been neglecting them. And, and I have a whole other burger over here, too. It, they're like...
So they're cold now. So whatever. So you're telling me that there's something that I can do in the books where I can come to KN? Uh, what is KN? I don't know what that means. I know K, I know KC. I know, or at least K and C. I don't know KN. Most everybody wants you to exercise blind faith in their words alone, and that's dangerous. Yeah, no, we don't do that. You, I want, I want people to disbelieve me, but... I want them to disbelieve me to the point where they actually go and try to prove me wrong. Not just go, oh, pish posh, this guy has no idea what he's talking about, I'm out of here. But I want you to go, pish posh, he has no idea what he's talking about, let me prove that. And then that's when they end up finding out that the things I'm saying are, are true. So. Oh, um, Icy Mage, if you're still here, Here's the Holy Daemon. I mean, you're probably not going to get this version. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if there's a paperback. So you might have to get this version. I don't know if there's a paperback. But it's only 69 bucks. Holy Daemon. Or you could just... I mean, I hate to do this because I support occult authors. But sometimes... Sometimes you just got to do it. Or you can just... Get the a PDF right here, Holy Damon. <clears throat> Holy Damon, Holy Damon, Frater Acker by Scarlet Imprint. Or from Scarlet Imprint by Frater Acker. 182 pages. A table of contents among the Chaldeans, among the Zoroastrians, among the ancient Greeks. So you get a history of the HGA from the people that it comes from. Right? The pre, because a lot of people think a, uh, angels come from Christianity. I would say angels were organized within Christianity, but they come from the Chaldeans and the Zoroastrians. And I, eh, the Greeks, meh, I don't agree with that part, uh, but I can see why he said that. But I don't agree with that part, but that's fine. Um, and then you get into the memory, which is his memory. Um, and then you get into the practice. So... Yeah. If you're still here, Icy Mage, I don't even know if you're still here. Looks like you didn't have to go back to mobile. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, we got quite a, I mean, it, it got up into the 30s earlier. Um, I'm sure if I went mobile, it would be a lot more, but that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll probably go live again tonight and I'll do mobile there. And we'll compare. But I did get into the 30s here. Uh, it got up to like 35, I think, 36, and then it dropped back down again. Justified anger, the technique will eradicate all false beliefs that we inadvertently accept. Uh, what technique? Uh, the justified anger? The word angels from the Greek, but what we are calling angels aren't. Yeah, okay. So that I can agree with, yes. But uh, how we, like what we believe angels are, how they interact with the world, right? Their purpose and place in the universe and all that. Yeah, that's not Greek. Um, that's why I don't really agree with that. Like, I know the word angelus comes from Greek, but, um, yeah. I have other books he done, but not that one. I take photos of the ones I want to remember. Uh, from Frater Acker, y you mean Disco Tysic? If I, and sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Vipassana. Oh, okay. No, you learn the courses that... The idea of justified anger is correct. Okay. Or is incorrect. All right. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I have any other uh, Frater. Um, this is Frater Acker, right? Not Because uh, I get Acker and Ash and Shashan mixed up. Yes, this is Frater Acker. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any other Frater Acker texts. Maybe I do. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Just the one.
Mm -mm -mm. Let me um. Let me see something here. What is Centipede Press? I never heard of him. Blood of the Impaler, Child Grave. What? What's that about? Oh, this is a novel. Is it? Yeah, this is a novel. Yeah, yeah. Fiction. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, what? So are these not... Uh, it does Centipede Press? Is that what it's called? Centipede Press? Yeah, do they do not... Like, is this novels? Okay, yeah, these are novels. All right, never mind. I don't care about that. Theon. I love Theon. They make beautiful, beautiful books. I, of course, have a physical copy of their most beautiful book. This one right here. $125. Y'all know I got this. The Book of Flesh and Feather. It's beautiful. Like, this picture doesn't even do it justice. You can barely see the gold. It looks brown. And this looks like orange red or something. It doesn't, doesn't do it justice. Beautiful book. And then, of course, the litanies. I'm, I'm surprised I don't have it here. Oh, there it is. The litanies of Toth. I have that, too. <clears throat> Holy Heretics, Rosicrucian Magic, Ingenium. Uh, Holy Heretics sound familiar. Is that also by Frater Acker? That sounds familiar. I don't have it, but that sounds familiar. I, I feel like I, I, I heard that through Foolish Fish. Hey, bro, I have to go, but I am interested. Okay, awesome, man. Thanks for stopping by. Anything good for Hoodoo? Uh, not on here, but yes. Um, okay. I say that, and then you're looking at the Voodoo Quantum Leap. Uh, this is esoteric Voodoo. I don't recommend that. Um, but for Hoodoo... Uh, where's my drive? Here it is. Um... Okay, so it's a, uh, I gotta use my, um, hold on, I gotta use my uh, ebook reader, because it's a, uh, if it has that sign right here, that means it's EPUB, not PDF, and so I gotta open it up through my ebook reader, not my uh, Google Drive, where is it, here we go, one second for the ebook reader to open... Any day now, ebook reader. Waiting on you. I know I'm doing a lot on the PC, but you're just an ebook reader. You don't take up a lot of RAM, so let's get going. All right, here we go. Move it over here. Um, here we go. It's it's this one right here. Hoodoo Graveyard Sorcery. Let me make it bigger. Hoodoo Graveyard Sorcery by James Yudung, aka De Lumine Ra. This is a good one. Hoodoo Graveyard Sorcery is a really good one. Um, do I have any others that are in here that would be good for Hoodoo? Uh, let me see in here. Sleeping with the Ancestors is pretty good. Oop, I didn't mean to open it. Sorry. It's going to open now. Nope. Let's close that out. Um... So, since you want hoodoo, this is this is pretty good for hoodoo. The Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. Since the Bible is used extensively within hoodoo, uh, this is a, a good one. But it's not strictly hoodoo, but it's used in hoodoo. Um, not hoodoo, but it is African. Kendoki, a manual of African witchcraft. It's not hoodoo, but it is African. So it's African sorcery. Uh, 
let's see. This is a uh, this is esoteric voodoo, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, the Aeonic Flow, the Waters of Return, not a fan of esoteric voodoo, and that's what that is. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, it looks like I don't have any other EPUBs. Um, let me. I know, um, where is that physical book? Oh, uh, this is a really highly respected book within Hoodoo, Mojo Workin', the old, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong flip, the old African American Hoodoo system, Mojo Workin' by Katrina Hazard Donald. This is really good. Gives you a nice little history of uh, hoodoo and then gets into some practical aspects. Um, hold on, I spelled it wrong up here. Here we go. I don't know why I just didn't type this in. Jesus Christ. So uh, here's the hoodoo book. Hoodoo spells and magic in introduction. It's pretty good here. Hoodoo Bible magic. It's okay. Uh, this is the Hoodoo Graveyard Sorcery we just talked about. The Talking Book. <clears throat> this is pretty good. African Americans and the Bible has some hoodoo in there. This is for women, but Conjuring the Calabash by Mawiya Kai El Jama Bomani. Uh, empowering women with hoodoo spells and magic. So this is for women, but I mean, I guess if you know what you're doing, you can use it and modify it, but. There we go. Um. This is. Okay, it's just baths, but used in hoodoo. Um, this isn't really hoodoo, but it's on it. it. Might be interesting to read it. The role of the grimoires in the conjure tradition, but Denise Alvarado. Her guide to this to serving the seven African powers. It says voodoo, but I don't want to disparage New Orleans, so I'm not gonna. But a lot of people feel like New Orleans voodoo is not actual voodoo, but I'm not gonna get into that debate because I I don't I'm, I I don't practice voodoo, so I don't I don't really have a dog in that fight. But she's a New Orleans voodoo song. Um, however you feel about that. Um, black magic, religion, and the African American conjuring tradition. Pretty good. Um, and I guess that's really about it. The rest of these are like pseudo voodoo, I mean, pseudo hoodoo, or like they have some hoodoo in it. Like, for example, at the crossroads, um, kind of like Conjure Codex, but you know, oh, and here's the Conjure Codex volume one. Earlier I was talking about, you know, I have volumes four and five. Uh, here's volume one. Um, so yeah, uh, these up here and these four down here. And then the, uh, the one I showed you in my, uh, or, or the couple I showed you here on my, EPUB reader and then the physical one. So <clears throat> that should help you out. That should help you out. Uh, yeah, I went in an actual browser. I can't see your playlist. Um, that's weird because I'm in my browser right now. Like this is the browser. You can see up here, browser. Uh, like I, I don't know what to tell you. You go to view profile and then let it load. And at the top here, you'll see playlists. The Demonic Kings playlist, my Hermeticism playlist, my Archangels playlist, the Getting Started playlist, and the Elementals playlist. Um, not sure why you're not able to see it, but I'm, I mean, I'm right here on it, so I don't know. Uh, you can see the address bar right here. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Bro, this auto scroll is pissing me off. Is there a way to like, hold on. Let me check the settings here. Oh, I can't change the settings while I'm live. Of course not. 
Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with... Uh, <sighs> Auto-scroll. That's annoying. Oh my god. Whatever book I can read that will tell me to do something that doesn't require belief. Um, it looks like you're looking for like practical magical books. So prop something like strategic sorcery or um, uh, techniques of high magic or something like that. Some, you know, portable magic, something like that. You should try making new covers for books. I'll sometimes remove the old one and make my own. Uh, I mean, other than as like a cool art experiment, uh, uh, wh why would I do that? I don't have any issues with my current covers. I don't, I don't, why would I do that? How many books do you have, you know? Physical copies, not much. 125, I think. Um, not much at all. Uh, Ebooks. 800 to 1,000? I'm not entirely sure. My Google Drive is almost used up. Um, I, I pay for 100 gigs. And where am I? What does it say down here? Um, well, you guys can't see it because it's blocked. Uh, so there. What does it say? Oh, of course. Uh, 87.97 gigs of 100. So uh, 800 to 1,000 on ebook. Uh, which book tells you what to do so that you can come to know it's true? Uh, they all, t didn't you say you have some of these books? They all tell you what to do. Uh, but if you're looking for something practical, I gave you a few titles that you can look into for practicality. Mm-mm-mm-mm. What's the issue with esoteric voodoo? Voodoo requires initiation. It requires licencia. You need permission to work with those spirits. And esoteric voodoo or Gnostic voodoo, like the Voodoo Gnostic Workbook, uh, which I have a physical copy here, or um, the Aeonic Flow of Voodoo, or Spider and the Green Butterfly, or um, uh, 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 um, the Quantum Leap, stuff like that. Um, they all are, and I don't, Okay, I'm not going to bring that into it because I don't want to upset people. But um, it's people, certain people are looking for back doors into things that you don't need to back door into. If, you're, if you want to practice voodoo, you can practice voodoo. You just need to be welcomed in by the spirits. And people don't want that. They want shortcuts. They want to do whatever they want to do. And they, they want to be the judge, jury, and executioner. And that's not, that's not valid. Um, and so... Backdoors are not good, right? It's it's the same issue that people have with like Carlos Montenegro. Um, this stuff. Uh, Montenegro. Montenegro. So this guy, uh, he, he, he writes a lot on Kimbanda and um, Santeria and stuff like that. But the problem is the stuff that he's writing is for initiates only. It's not like... Um, Nicolaj Dematos Frisvald, who writes on Kimbanda and doesn't give away any secrets, right? He informs you of what they believe and he gives you some of the outer mysteries, things that you can learn publicly. But if you want to learn the inner mysteries of Kimbanda, you need to go to a Kimbandero and get a reading and get uh, SU accepted into your head, which is their form of initiation. You can't just oh, I don't want to do any of that. I feel as though I don't need to do any of that. So I'm just going to study the outer stuff and then just make up the rest. Uh, that's what these esoteric voodoo and esoteric kimbanda or Gnostic voodoo, that's what they do. Uh, they go and they read from the public stuff and then the stuff that they can't learn because they're not a part of it, they just mix it with like Wicca or Gnosticism or chaos magic or something like that. And... Um, that's that's not good. That's not good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What time is it? Oh, it's four thirty. Okay, 
Um, so it's almost been about two hours. All right, cool, cool. The problem with the world today is people not being able to differentiate between their beliefs and knowledge. That's true. Sorry, I'm not well versed in technology. How did you get those books in the drive? Can you share it? Uh, yeah, you just download a book into your files. Uh, so you have, you know, your files, you download, you know, go to your downloads and you just drag and drop. Like you drag it and you drop it into your Google Drive. I don't like so for me, I have my Google Drive downloaded to my computer. You can see it right here. So I'll just drag this and put it over in there and it goes to my Google Drive. All right. Do we have any further questions on occultism, esotericism, mysticism? If not, I'll hop off here for a little bit. I'll probably be back on later tonight. We'll do a mobile stream then. I'm sure we'll get more, much, much, much more people in here. Um, so we can have an overabundance of questions, uh, which is what I prefer. <clears throat> Excuse me. No questions. I'm making dried orange slices. Nice. I hope you enjoy them. What time is it? It's, uh, I, I just said that. What's wrong with me? Oh, can y'all believe this? Uh, let me go on, on my Mystical Rebel browser. Mystical Rebel. So on my Mystical Rebel browser, right, when I'm on YouTube, look, they blocked my one video, yo. Oh, let me go to your videos. Let me do it like that. Look at this. My occult books, Billy Carson, Dis, and Materia Magica, the stream I did the other day, it's partially blocked. It's blocked in Russia and Belarus. Now, not that I have many viewers, if any viewers, in Russia or Belarus. Uh, what? Why? Now, I am playing music in this stream, and it was the popular music. I think I was playing, um, I think I was on this. I was on the song, I was on a 24, a 2024 Songs of the Summer. So, as you can see, it's got Benson Boone, Taylor Swift. So, these are actual, no offense, these are like real, and, and I'll quote that for anybody in here who makes music and gets offended. They're quote unquote real artists, right? They're promoted and they're put out, blah, blah, blah. So it's okay for me to play the music on stream in America where they wouldn't make any money, right? A million people could see that stream. So a million people heard that song and they're not getting any money off that. That's okay. But it's not okay in Russia. What? What? Yeah, they got it partially blocked. Uh, where is it? How do I? Here we go. See, wait, stop. See details. Partially blocked. And where did I find out where it was blocked? It, it like told me where it was blocked. Yeah, look. Because I'm playing, because Good Luck Bay by Ch Chapel, Chappelle, Ronan, Hosier Too Sweet, Benson Boone, Slow It Down, Jojo Siwa. Miley Cyrus, Russia not okay with it, but America is. And what, like, where, where, where did I go to see, where was it? Was it see details or was it learn more? No, it wasn't learn more. That's just a help. I think it was see, but now it's not showing. Oh, there it is. So I, so it's fine in the US, it's fine in the UK, and it's fine in Canada. Block territories, Belarus, Russia. What? If anybody would be upset that I'm playing music that potentially thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people could hear without the artist getting paid, it would be capitalist America. I would, I would, I would expect America to block it, not Russia. Not Daddy Putin.
Not Daddy Putin. Can you recommend visual books? No, I don't have any visual books. Mm -mm. I asked earlier about books that and catalogs that contain cool art. I mean, they're out there. I'm not into those. Um, they're called, um, I think they're called monographs. Hold on. I think Arrow Boris has one. Wait, hey, that's not the website. That's not it. Oh, wait, no, no. That's the music. Keep the music going. Sorry. Let me go here and do it on here. Um, I think their website is Book Arts. Okay, then we'll just do what I was doing before then. What are you... What's wrong? What do you what are you talking about? Arrow okay, I'll just Boros Press. Jesus Christ. Book Arts! Oh, dot org. I did dot com. It's dot org. Okay. My bad. I was I was I was about to You don't want to know what I was about to do. Um Where is it? Is this it? No, they have like a, I think this is one, occult painter and abstract pioneer. I think this might be one where there's some like occult art and stuff like that. If that's all you're really looking for um I, I i mean i'm not really into those types of books so i don't i don't really know I, I, here's one on british women and surrealism uh, so maybe that's one um i don't know where's miskatonic uh, is, that's here no um No, that's not what it's called. What what the What's that word? It's it's like mono something. I don't I don't even know what cuz I can't think of the word. Let me under subjects maybe. Crowley demonology, grimoire, magic, ceremony, magic, alchemy, occult, religion, spiritual divination, esoteric formation, golden dawn, left hand Kabbalah, hermetic gnosticism, cruise terror witchcraft. Okay, great. They don't have uh, I don't I don't even know what to look under. Um I guess maybe esoteric. Yeah, I, I mean, they're, they exist. I just don't know them because I'm not interested in occult art, at least not in the sense of buying a book on it. I mean, I might buy the actual artwork to hang it on my wall or something, but I'm not into occult art. You know, in 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 the sense of buying a book to study it or something like that. Um, okay, here's one. In, uh, Imago, Body, Vision, Magic by Robert H. Allen. In his groundbreaking work, Robert Allen restores the image to its rightful place at the heart of Western esoteric tradition. Uh, he argues that the careful relation of image and vision, blah, blah, blah. So there's probably art in this. A lot of images. Let me see. I mean, it talks about artists, you know, uh, and shows how these ideas permeate the practice of radical avant-garde theater artists like August Stinberg and Heiner Mueller. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I mean, obviously I've not read this, but uh, this might have some images in it. I don't know. I'm not really into occult art in that sense, so I don't, uh, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> I had a friend get a cease and desist from a letter from Taylor Swift because he made TikTok mocking her. What? That's crazy. What are you eating? It looks good. Oh, just a burger. Just a homemade burger. 
You see, you always have great recommendations. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, you're not on your drive. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no, these are websites I was on. Thanks for the website recommendation. That's a great place for me to dig myself in. Yes, Miskatonic is great. If you're interested in the occult uh, and you want books and stuff like that, yeah, they are they're great. And then, I mean, you can just learn about new authors, new publishers. Like, there was a point where, I, I mean, other than like Anathema, Scarlet Imprint, and Theon, there were periods where I didn't know half of these publishers up here. And I was like what and you know now over the years i've acquired several books from all of them well not centipede press because that's novels but uh cool another question outside of the topic do you use tarot for any divination yes tarot is my main divinatory practice yes i use tarot <clears throat> Mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been a little over two hours. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream here. I will be live later this evening from my phone, mobile. So we'll do mobile stream. And that should get a lot more people in here. So we'll have an, uh, an overabundance of questions. How many decks do you own? Eight? Nine? Eight. 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 So. But my preferred deck is the Hoodoo Tarot. Or the Gilded Tarot, but Hoodoo Tarot. But uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop out here, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Issa, for the moderation. Thank you guys for the questions. Great conversation. I'll be live a little later tonight, probably around 8 or 9 p.m. Um, Eastern time. Uh, so if you want to hang out some more, come back uh, later tonight. And we'll be live from my phone. So you won't have the background. like you, you won't see the books and stuff like that. It'll be the standard TikTok lives that you see. You know, um, but yeah, I will be back later tonight and uh, we can continue hanging out. Thank you all. Uh, what can be accomplished with hermeticism? Getting closer back to God. Um, the same as any real religion. I'm not sure what you were looking for, uh, but we don't make any grandiose claims. Um, you find your way back to God. That's it. So no grandiose claims. You're not going to become God or become a God or gain powers or anything like that. It's to find our way back to God. Theosis. Um, all right. Thank you all. And I will catch you guys tonight uh, between 8 and 9 p.m. Seek the mysteries. Peace.